So, uh, you know, the pervasive way we see Lambda being implemented is that the speed layer has some sort of stream processing engine, whether it's Storm or Spark or Flink, what have you. And it's working with either Redis or Cassandra. And then you have the serving layer using HBase or Impala. And, and it's up to the application now to essentially uh, bring these two things together. Right. So from our standpoint, the question is, is it really complex? Now the application has to land up federating essentially across these data stores so that, uh, you know, you can run essentially interactive queries. Uh, you now are dealing with, you know, multiple data models. You're dealing with disparate APIs. Uh, it's potentially now slow uh, and it's likely going to be very expensive to maintain because you're dealing with different clusters. You have to tune different kinds of products. Uh, you have to configure multiple clusters, so on and so forth, right? So the question really is, is there a way we can really simplify and optimize this, this design, right? So, so from our standpoint, the question we kind of ask ourselves is, is there a way you can essentially have the batch and the speed layer work with a single unified serving database, right? Uh, and if you think about it, I mean, you know, Cassandra-like system offers you a way to say, hey, I can scale for concurrency, right? I can have a thousand concurrent clients hitting, hitting my system and I can serve requests with low latency with high availability characteristics that are typically significantly better than what you would ever see inside the batch or in the databases, whether it's Hadoop or any MPP database, right? You can do point lookups, reads, writes, that sort of thing. Now, is there a way we can combine all that with the ability to do interactive queries really well, right? So that a way you can do OLAP. Right. So there's a lot of claims right now, like if you look at Oracle Exadata, I mean, SAP HANA, I mean, all these guys are claiming saying, hey, we can do both OLTP and OLAP. But it's still much to be desired when it comes to sort of this big data pipeline uh, from a Lambda standpoint, right, where you are, you have to work very closely uh, with, a, with a stream processing layer to really realize that architecture well, right. So that's kind of what, what, how, how we think about it, right? Where the serving layer and the speed layer, if you may, are really in some sense joined in the hip so that you can essentially simplify and yet make it much, much more performant.